Hey guys, I'm Shehan from Skyler Studios. Uh, I'm a social media specialist, a graphic designer, and I do a little bit of 3D modeling as well. You can find me on Instagram at uh, Shehan Bope. So today I'll be modeling the rest of this character, uh, his arms and legs. So this is the final render. And uh, you guys can download the sketches I used for this 3D model in the description below. And this is the third video of uh, of this character actually um, you can watch the, the first two videos in my channel so we are starting off where we left off in the last video uh, with his body select those vertices and extrude them out I didn't pick those uh, upper faces because I wanted that uh, curve in the shoulders to be a little bit prominent, so I just left them off. Left them off. And now you can see I'm pushing and pulling vertices to get the shape that I want in the arms. You guys can watch me modeling the body and the face of this character in my channel. I've made a playlist for you guys so you guys can check uh, check it out. So I'm trying to shape his arms according to the background image I have. It's always important that you check your character from all the views like as much as you can. I'm going back to front view and extruding the faces from the bottom to his forearm. adding some loop cuts as well where his elbow should be another loop cut and I'm trying to uh, Delete, those, delete some faces so that I can create his elbow pointing out And I created a whole new face. I did that face, extruded it, added, created a face with that, and created a whole new face. And these two words I'm, I'm going to use to pull it out and make it look like uh, the elbow yeah so i'm trying to match the reference image as much as possible we really the words in the middle match the reference image as much as possible
Okay, so it's kind of looking good at this point. It wasn't bad as how it used to look. So I feel like from the side view, his arm, his, his uh, elbow was too big. So I scaled it down. Now his elbow was too pointy. I pushed it out. In. I'm going back to his legs. I expected those words seen. And extruded them out to create his legs. And I'm going inside. And I created a whole new face. Added a loop cut. And extruded out one word scene and create a face with F select those four vertices and F to create a new face Pushing and pulling vertices to get the nice curve in the butt. So, yeah. Extrude it out. Extrude it out, scale this, and uh, now I'm going to do the same thing I did to the elbow. But in a different way, I'm just gonna extrude them, create new faces, and that's the knee joint. So I'm gonna pull those faces out of them.
pushing and pulling but just to get nice curves in the mesh took his face and now I'm gonna append his body and um, join the face and the, bo uh, the body together. So the scales don't match and I'm gonna scale his body to match his face. And merge those two objects together. I'm going to add the same material I uh, had for his mother's face as well. I hit the camera, select those two, and check which one I should merge. Rotated the head a little. Control J to merge. So I merge the body with the head. Had to do that. Select those and bridge F3. If you're coming from uh, Blender, if you uh, 7.9, you might find that option, the bridge loop, edge loops in uh, the tool section, but we don't really have it right in 2.8. So you have to press F3 and type bridge edge loops, and you can get that option to bridge those. Oops, and I cleaned uh, the edges with by selecting those edges and X. And now I felt like uh, his shoulders were too big for the character I'm going for, so I scaled them down, tried to make him a little smaller than he is right now, because I was going, I wasn't going for a very buff hat, so uh, I'm trying, I'm placing the cameras and preparing the character for the final render. 
lighting him a little bit and yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, i will make a few more variations to his chest and uh, follow me on insta and uh, uh, hope you guys like this video and i'll be modeling his feet and his legs in the next video so subscribe to watch it and uh, thank you guys if you have any questions leave a comment below uh yeah so like it share it thank you guys see you